I don't know where to start. I'm really disappointed. I'm really, really disappointed. I really had hopes that today we could have scored or could have won the game. But my hopes were washed away in the first few minutes when I see when I saw the way we were playing and the way Liverpool was playing. Liverpool never looked a threatening team. Liverpool never looked uh, the team that could score the next goal. Liverpool never looked the team that will even have a chance to score a goal. The only time that we can say that we had opportunity to maybe score or make a score changes when Luis, that the chance Luis Diaz, Mosala had near pites, but they were all, you know, shanks and wangs and chances that he blasted into the roof of the the net um let me let me give credit where credit to you luis diaz has been you know playing well you know in a dead team luis diaz has been trying to carry them out of this massive hole that we are in luis diaz is trying to change the game luis diaz is trying to you know at least have an input uh like um what's you call uh you know positive impact on the game and i really really saw how he well he played you know he was all over yeah the ref was the ref did fuck all did fuck all you know just giving us cards without no repercussion whenever you talk to him he was the yellow card you know you know i don't think luis diaz and uh, mark cardis of the yellow cards i don't think their first goal was should be even you know be uh at the first foul, you know, Luis Diaz fairly and squarely won the ball. But as always, you know, there's a reason to give other teams 50-50 things that even now not 50-50, 75-50 things. And, you know, I from there, you know, we never looked at a team that can threaten, you know, the, we were the weaker team of the two. Like, if you all have asked a person who has never watched football, which team do you think is the team that's in relegation? Right, and which team do you think is in title contention? Everyone will have told you Everton was the better team tonight. You know, players who got injured and came out of back count count came back out of injured all lost their form. They are not sharp again. They are not. They are not playing well. So, you know, um, Wataro, you know, Katias, Trent, you know, they are all. David Nunes is always there with his nine misses with one chance to score you know so you know when your team is in that sort of situation you know you don't have to say anything about the other side as a football fan you never want to see a big team like everton get relegated even if i'm a liverpool fan and i always hate them but i never wish bad on any other team i never wish bad on any team uh and you know as far as you know football is fair and justice if they get relegated justice like true justice okay fair and square but you know i'm not that guy oh they should be no if they don't deserve to be deducted points and they had a clear you know reasons they okay then i don't i don't think teams should be deducted points just because they breach things the what's you call the owners should be restricted the owners the inflow of money that they're using to for themselves should be restricted and should be followed up and the, you know they should have a committee that knows the what limit they should spend and what limit they should not spend but on the other side you know you should not you know punish the fans and everton you know really played today well they were the better team they deserve the win um they wasted, you know, they played 30 minutes, scored two goals and wasted 70. If you include the addition minutes, they wasted 60 and uh, 70 minutes. So, yeah, we played 30 minutes with, you know, another game where we had a lot of shots. I, th I think we got off first shot on target on 38 minutes, you know, and already we were behind. So I think in first half, we had one shot on target. So that's what we are dealing with. We need strikers we need uh midfielders attack especially the attacking ones to be firing you know when wataro came on you know my maka was at least you know trying to change and influence the game and it was too late you know i said in first half like jürgen klopp 
needed to make substitutions at half time you know he did he shouldn't have waited but it happened and they scored that goal both goals were clearly you know the first goal maka will have cleared if if uh, konate wouldn't have touched um second goal no one was on katfield lewin especially knowing that katfield lewin is their main attacking you know you know when you know dcl is there you know <clears throat> is it DLC or DC or whatever it's called? Uh, it's the main target player. You know, you have to, you know, at least mock him. But Liverpool players were, you know, they knew he's going to score. You know, they were on holiday. Our defenders were on holiday. Uh, at the beginning of the game, I said, uh, Kwanzaa deserves to start ahead of Konate. And I stand by that. Uh, all the games that Kwanzaa played, we played better defensively. Uh, also, the ball progression has been better. Uh, Javi Elliott needs to be to have a run in the game. Uh, in the team, he needs to play from start. He doesn't need to come seventieth minute when we're all near ready to kneel down, three nil down. <coughs> and also something else that I realize is that whenever we are losing, Jurgen Klopp brings defenders. Uh, we don't need defenders. We're already losing. We don't care if we consider another three. At least let's have bring more attackers. You know. Bring more midfielders, play back three at the back. Let's uh, Luis Diaz and uh, you know one another player defend. Let Robertson go out three at the back. Let's attack. Bring you know, bring uh, Trent into uh, into the mid. You know, change things. You know, like stop taking these players out and you know doing the the program that you came into the game. If it failed, change the plan. You know, that's another thing that I've seen in these few games that we have been losing, and uh, you know. Something that also uh, really caught my eye is that Jurgen Klopp does not have the passion. I don't know why. He used to hype the fans. He used to, you know, get involved in the game. I saw him get involved in the game today, first maybe 20 minutes, because there were so many 50-50s that were going against us. Or, you know, there were some challenges that were to be, you know, foul or, you know, cards and those things that were not given to us. But, you know, he was Atlanta 3 nil. He even didn't do anything, you know. I really don't know what's wrong. I guess there's something he's not happy with at the behind the scenes. Maybe uh, I really don't know, but hopefully all will be solved. And uh, from now on, it's number three, and uh, you know, Champions League next season. So there's nothing else to fight for. The league is gone.